John Amos, the legendary actor best known for his iconic role as James Evans Sr. on the groundbreaking sitcom Good Times, has passed away at the age of 84. The news of his death has left fans and colleagues alike reflecting on the immense impact he had on television, film, and American culture. Amos passed away on August 21st in Los Angeles due to natural causes, according to a statement from his son, Kelly Christopher Amos. Amos's passing marks the end of an era in television history, as he was not only a beloved actor, but a trailblazer who broke down barriers for Black actors during a time when representation on screen was limited. His portrayal of James Evans Sr., a hard-working father trying to raise his family in the Chicago projects, resonated with millions of viewers. The character of James Evans became a symbol of strength, dignity, and resilience, offering a rare portrayal of a strong Black father figure on network television during the 1970s. Good Times, which aired from 1974 to 1979, was more than just a sitcom. It was a cultural touchstone. Amos's portrayal of the stern yet loving patriarch of the Evans family was a pivotal part of the show's success. His performance gave depth to the character of James Evans, a man committed to providing for his family despite the socioeconomic hardships they faced. Amos's ability to bring authenticity and gravitas to the role made him a household name and endeared him to audiences from all walks of life. Beyond his role on Good Times, Amos enjoyed a prolific career spanning several decades in television, film, and theater. He first gained national attention in the early 1970s with his role as Gordy Howard, the weatherman on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, where he demonstrated his range as a comedic actor. However, it was his turn as James Evans that cemented his place in television history. Amos's on-screen presence was undeniable, and his commitment to portraying characters with integrity and strength made him one of the most respected actors of his generation. Amos's influence went far beyond his acting roles. He was known for advocating for more meaningful, authentic portrayals of Black characters on television. His departure from Good Times in 1976, after three seasons, was a result of his frustrations with the direction of the show. Amos had expressed concerns that the series was veering away from its original focus on serious social issues and becoming too comedic. He felt strongly that the show had a responsibility to address the real struggles faced by African-American families and communities, and his outspoken advocacy for these issues was a reflection of his deep commitment to his craft and to positive representation on screen. After Good Times, Amos continued to build a remarkable career. He starred in the critically acclaimed miniseries Roots in 1977, in which he portrayed the adult Kunta Kinte, a role that earned him widespread acclaim. His performance in Roots, which chronicled the harrowing story of an African man sold into slavery and his descendants' journey through generations of oppression, remains one of the most powerful and memorable performances in television history. Roots was a cultural phenomenon, and Amos's portrayal of Kunta Kinte was praised for its emotional depth and historical significance. In addition to his television work, John Amos enjoyed success on the big screen. He appeared in several popular films throughout the 1980s and 1990s including Coming to America, where he played Cleo McDowell, the father of Eddie Murphy's love interest. His role in Coming to America showcased his comedic talents once again, and the film became a beloved classic, with Amos's performance contributing to its enduring popularity. He also had memorable roles in films such as Die Hard 2, The Beastmaster, and Lock Up, further demonstrating his versatility as an actor. Throughout his long and storied career, John Amos remained a steadfast advocate for social justice and equality. He used his platform to speak out on issues affecting the Black community and was a vocal proponent of better opportunities for Black actors in Hollywood. His dedication to portraying characters with depth, dignity, and realism helped pave the way for future generations of actors of color. Beyond his professional achievements, Amos was known for his warm, generous spirit and his commitment to his family. His son, Kelly Christopher Amos, shared the news of his father's passing and expressed gratitude for the outpouring of support from fans and colleagues alike. In his statement, Kelly reflected on his father's legacy, describing him as not only a talented actor, but a loving father and role model who always prioritized his family, both on screen and off. John Amos's death marks the loss of a true pioneer in the entertainment industry, but his legacy will continue to live on through his body of work and the generations of actors he inspired. Having contributed he leaves behind to some of the most important and influential productions of the 20th century.
His portrayal of strong, complex characters helped reshape the narrative around African-American families on television, and his dedication to authentic storytelling set a high standard for future actors and creators. As the entertainment world mourns the passing of John Amos, many are reflecting on the profound influence he had, not only as an actor, but as a trailblazer who fought for greater representation and equity in the industry. His contributions to shows like Good Times and Roots forever changed the landscape of television, and his legacy as a champion for social justice and representation will continue to inspire generations to come. At 84 years old, John Amos leaves behind a rich and enduring legacy. His work will be remembered for its cultural significance and its ability to transcend time, continuing to resonate with audiences both old and new. His ability to portray characters with authenticity, humor, and heart made him a beloved figure, and his loss is being felt by fans around the world. With profound sorrow, Kelly Christopher Amos, the son of the legendary actor John Amos, released a statement confirming the passing of his father. It is with heartfelt sadness that I share with you that my father has transitioned, Kelly wrote, sharing the news that has left the entertainment world and fans in mourning. In his tribute, Kelly captured the essence of John Amos as both a father and a beloved figure who touched the lives of many. He was a man with the kindest heart and a heart of gold, Kelly continued, acknowledging not only the personal qualities that made his father so beloved, but also the universal affection people had for him. He was loved the world over. Many fans consider him their TV father. The phrase TV father rings especially true for the millions of viewers who grew up watching John Amos in his iconic role as James Evans Sr. on the classic sitcom Good Times. Amos portrayed the strong, loving, and often strict father figure in a way that resonated deeply with viewers, especially in the Black community. James Evans was one of the first positive depictions of a Black father on network television, and Amos's portrayal of him set the standard for how Black men and fathers could be represented on screen strong, principled, and deeply committed to their families. Fans who watched Good Times felt a personal connection to the character of James Evans, seeing him as a father figure not just to the Evans children on the show, but to all who watched. Kelly's statement continued with words of gratitude for the life his father led, emphasizing how John lived his life with purpose, integrity, and passion. He lived a good life, Kelly remarked, acknowledging his father's many accomplishments, not only as a father, but as an actor who left an indelible mark on television and film. He went on to recognize the lasting impact his father's career has had on generations of fans and fellow actors, saying his legacy will live on in his outstanding works in television and film as an actor. John Amos's legacy indeed extends far beyond his unforgettable role on Good Times. His career spanned decades, from his early days in television to his later work in film, theater, and even behind the scenes as a producer and director. Amos had a unique ability to bring depth, humor, and authenticity to every role he played. Whether it was the stern but loving father on Good Times, the heroic Kunta Kinte in Roots, or the humorous and hardworking Cleo McDowell in Coming to America. His body of work speaks for itself, with each performance standing as a testament to his extraordinary talent and dedication to his craft. For those who knew him, John Amos was much more than just a skilled actor. He was a man of deep compassion, humility, and kindness. His son's words reflected this, reminding the world of the warmth and generosity that John carried with him throughout his life. Kelly's tribute to his father painted a picture of a man who was beloved not only for his roles on screen, but for the love he gave to his family and friends. The sentiment that he lived a good life suggests a man who was content, proud of his achievements, and at peace with the legacy he was leaving behind. John Amos's role as James Evans on Good Times has left a particularly strong mark on television history. His portrayal of the blue-collar, no-nonsense father who fiercely protected his family and fought to provide for them with dignity became an iconic image. At a time when television lacked diversity and complex portrayals of Black families, Good Times stood out, largely because of the strength of Amos's character. His depiction of James Evans was groundbreaking in its honesty and power, showing the world a different side of African-American life, one that was filled with love, was perfect, struggle, but he was deeply hope, human and resilient. And that authenticity yes. resonated with audiences. While James Evans was often strict and at times hard on his children, it was clear that everything he did was out of love. The character's moral compass was unshakable, and his fierce sense of responsibility to his family endeared him to millions. When the show decided to kill off his character after Amos left due to creative differences, 
viewers were heartbroken as it marked the end of one of the most important father figures on television. The grief fans felt at James Evans' death spoke volumes about how deeply they had connected with Amos's portrayal of the character. Decades later, Amos's role as James Evans remains a gold standard for how fathers, particularly black fathers, are portrayed on television. Beyond good times, Amos's role in the seminal miniseries Roots cemented his status as one of the most important actors of his generation. His portrayal of the adult Kunta Kinte, a role that required immense emotional and physical strength, earned him widespread acclaim. Roots was a groundbreaking television event that forever changed the way Americans viewed slavery and its legacy, and Amos's performance as Kunta Kinte was central to the show's powerful narrative. His ability to convey the pain, resilience, and dignity of his character was nothing short of masterful, and it remains one of the most significant roles in television history. Amos's versatility as an actor was evident in the wide range of characters he portrayed throughout his career. From comedic roles in films like Coming to America to more dramatic performances in The West Wing and Die Hard 2, Amos proved time and again that he could excel in any genre. His presence on screen was always commanding, whether he was delivering a punchline or standing up for justice. His performances were imbued with a deep sense of authenticity, making his characters feel real and relatable. Throughout his life, John Amos was known for being more than just a talented performer. He was a principled man who cared deeply about the stories he told and the impact they had on the world. He was outspoken about the need for better representation of African Americans in Hollywood and often took on roles that reflected his desire to portray Black characters with depth and dignity. His departure from good times in the mid-1970s was largely due to his frustration with the show's shift toward more comedic and less socially relevant content. Amos believed that television had the power to change perceptions and raise awareness about important issues, and he was committed to being a part of projects that did just that. As the entertainment world mourns the loss of John Amos, his family, friends, and fans are left with a profound sense of gratitude for the legacy he leaves behind. Kelly Christopher Amos's tribute reflects the deep pride and love he had for his father, both as a man and as an artist. It is clear that John Amos was not only a trailblazer in his profession, but also a devoted father, a man with a heart of gold, who lived his life with kindness and integrity. John Amos's passing marks the end of an extraordinary career, but his contributions to television, film, and theater will continue to live on. His roles in Good Times and Roots will remain cultural touchstones, forever embedded in the history of American entertainment. For future generations, his performances will continue to inspire, educate, and entertain, just as they have done for so many years. His work was a reflection of his values, his love for his craft, and his deep respect for the audiences who watched him. As the world says goodbye to this iconic actor, we are reminded of the power of storytelling and the impact one person can have through their art. John Amos was a master of his craft, a pioneer for Black actors in Hollywood, and a man whose kindness touched the lives of all who knew him. His legacy is one of strength, compassion, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Rest in peace, John Amos. Your contributions to the world will never be forgotten, and your legacy will continue to shine brightly for generations to come. John Amos's passing has triggered a wave of reflection, not only on the extraordinary body of work he leaves behind, but also on the personal values that shaped his life and career. For decades, John stood as a pillar of strength in the entertainment industry, and his legacy is a testament to his commitment to portraying authentic, complex, and meaningful characters. As Kelly Christopher Amos, his son, lovingly stated in his tribute, he was a man with the kindest heart and a heart of gold. This description of John Amos is echoed by those who worked with him, watched him, and grew to know him through his on-screen presence and off-screen advocacy. The phrase heart of gold is a perfect encapsulation of the man behind the roles. Also for his John deep Amos was humanity, known not just humility, for his and unwavering belief in the potential of storytelling to inspire change. His son's words, describing Amos as a beloved father figure to millions of fans, resonate deeply with those who watched his career unfold over the decades. The role of James Evans Sr. on Good Times was not merely another television character. To many, he became the embodiment of what a strong, loving father should be. For viewers, especially Black viewers, who rarely saw themselves reflected in media, Amos provided a blueprint of family leadership and strength, a role model whose presence on screen inspired countless people to believe in the power of fatherhood and family resilience. What made Amos's portrayal of James Evans so special was its authenticity, 
He didn't shy away from the complexities of being a father, especially in an environment marked by economic struggle and systemic inequality. Amos gave depth to a character that could have easily been reduced to a stereotype, ensuring that James Evans wasn't just a disciplinarian, but a man who was fiercely protective of his family, deeply committed to his wife and children, and unafraid to show vulnerability. It was this multidimensional portrayal that endeared him to audiences and earned him a place in television history. When his character was killed off in good times, audiences mourned deeply, as if they had lost a real member of their family. That emotional response is a testament to the profound impact Amos had on the cultural consciousness. But Amos was more than just James Evans. His career was filled with roles that showcased his range and versatility as an actor. In the miniseries Roots, Amos's portrayal of Kunta Kinte in his later years remains one of his most celebrated performances. The story of Roots, which traced the brutal realities of slavery and its generational impact, was revolutionary at the time, and Amos brought incredible emotional depth to his character. As Kunta Kinte, he portrayed the strength of a man whose spirit was never fully broken, despite the unimaginable hardships he faced. Amos' performance helped elevate Roots to become one of the most powerful television events in history igniting conversations about race, history, and the enduring legacy of slavery in America. Even today, Roots remains a cornerstone in the depiction of African-American history on screen, and Amos's work in the series is seen as essential to its success. Beyond television, John Amos's film career added another layer to his already impressive resume. One of his most memorable film roles came in Coming to America, 1988, where he played Cleo McDowell, the owner of McDowell's restaurant and the father of Eddie Murphy's love interest. The role was a comedic one, a far cry from the gravitas of his performances in Good Times and Roots, but it showcased Amos's versatility as an actor. His ability to shift seamlessly from drama to comedy was a testament to his skill and breadth as a performer. Coming to America remains a beloved comedy classic, and Amos's portrayal of Cleo McDowell added to the film's charm and enduring appeal. He reprised his role in Coming to America in 2021, reminding fans of the iconic character and demonstrating that, even in his later years, Amos had lost none of his comedic timing or warmth. But behind these impressive roles was a man who was also committed to fighting for justice, equity, and opportunity. Amos was well aware of the limited roles available to Black actors in Hollywood during the early days of his career, and he wasn't afraid to speak out about it. His decision to leave Good Times in 1976 was largely based on his frustration with the show's shift away from serious, socially relevant content in favor of lighter, comedic storylines. Amos, who believed deeply in the potential of television to highlight important societal issues, was particularly concerned that Good Times was losing its original mission of depicting the real struggles of Black families in America. His willingness to walk away from a steady job in pursuit of artistic integrity speaks to the principles that guided him throughout his life. That commitment to integrity followed Amos throughout his career, and it's part of what makes his legacy so enduring. His influence extends beyond the roles he played. It's evident in the generations of Black actors who followed in his footsteps. Amos's career helped pave the way for a new era of television, one in which diverse stories and complex Black characters would become more prominent. Actors like Sterling K. Brown, Denzel Washington, and many others have cited actors like Amos as trailblazers who made it possible for them to succeed in Hollywood today. John Amos's trailblazing efforts in Hollywood set the stage for increased diversity and better representation, something that continues to evolve today. Kelly Christopher Amos's statement that his father's legacy will rings especially in true in this context. The impact of John Amos's career isn't limited to nostalgia or past accomplishments. It lives on in the strides Hollywood continues to make in terms of inclusion and representation. The roles he portrayed were never one-dimensional. They were layered, filled with humanity, and reflective of the realities faced by many people in America, particularly African Americans. His work challenged audiences to think critically about race, class, and family. And in doing so, Amos created a lasting impact on American television and film. Even as he grew older, John Amos remained active in the industry, always looking for roles that allowed him to make a meaningful contribution. Whether through his appearances in contemporary films or his work behind the scenes, he remained committed to using his talents to tell stories that mattered. In his personal life, he was a devoted father, a man with strong values, and a mentor to many young actors and filmmakers who looked up to him. The tributes pouring in from fans and colleagues alike are a testament to the love and respect that John Amos commanded throughout his life. 
To many, he wasn't just an actor. He was a symbol of strength, perseverance, and authenticity. As his family mourns his passing, they do so knowing that John Amos leaves behind a legacy that will continue to inspire and uplift for generations to come. As the entertainment world, his fans, and his loved ones reflect on his remarkable career, it's clear that John Amos wasn't just a star. He was a pioneer, a visionary, and a man who used his platform to create lasting change. His work as an actor will continue to be studied and admired, and his contributions to the fight for more equitable representation in Hollywood will forever be remembered as part of his powerful legacy. Rest in peace, John Amos. Your presence on screen and in the hearts of many will never be forgotten.